spoils the whole bunch. Uh, hi everyone, it's April Guy here. Sorry for the long ass break. But we are back, and I ha I'm with my buddy uh, Wesley, and today we are going to be talking about everything we know about Chapter 4 of Dark Deception this far. Now, obviously I haven't played Hello. Dark Deception on the channel, um, but... I haven't. I haven't played online. Because <laughs> I'm not going to, so don't ask. Alright, so we have, we have the uh, Chapter 4 of Fandom here. I have this little teaser, which we're going to go over as well. And then I'm gonna pull up Twitter, so we have that. Twitter. We need to have Twitter, so I'll we got the Twitter back. We'll also be talking about what the, the hell? There's a cat. Don't don't ask. We're not gonna talk <laughs> about that. Okay. And then we're gonna also talk about monsters and mortals and what we know so far. I don't know what that video is all about, but it okay. All right. So practically, let's get started. So as we know. The four, le we have three levels that are up to come. Now, we have level one of this chapter, which will be the Reaper Narcissus and the boss is the Matron. Then, in the second uh, level for this, we have the Lucky the Rabbit, Hangy the Pig, Penny the Chicken, and Joy Kill, and the Joy Joy Gang clones. Now, we're gonna stop here and we're gonna talk about, like, the Joy Joy Gang clones because not. A lot of people are really talking about that, I would say. So, my uh, thing here is, uh, Wesley, first give your input on what your theory is about the Joy Joy Game Clones. We'll start with you. About the clones, or just yeah. the characters in general? About the clones. Like, oh, what do you, what do you think it's okay. Uh, Clones, I'm not so sure because I haven't really theorized about that. I mean, I do know that Vince said that said in a Q and A that um, all three of the Georgia Gang members have their own army, but we haven't seen that. The only army we've seen is Lucky, so we haven't seen Hangry's army. We haven't seen Penny's army. Yes, I'm saying Hangry because Smack and Pie doesn't, but we're not going to talk about him. Anyway, not to be rude, but I'm sorry, but. Anyway, sorry, forget I said that. Anyway, well, we haven't seen Hangry's army, and honestly, I mean, I don't know. I think maybe the clones are just there. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. I, I, ch I changed my mind. I changed. Wait a freaking minute. I just now thought of this. What if the clones are going to be in the boss fights? Now, that actually is a good point, because if you think about it, if they're gonna, they have to be in the boss fight because where else would you use them? Because it it would not be fair to us if we have to go well, up against multiple luckies. Well, multiple what I thought about first was like, well, what I thought about first was like, what if like luckies like sends out one of his clones to chase us or something? I don't know. That was my first thought. And I, mean, I was like, and I was like, wait a minute. What if it's actually part of the boss fight? My theory is is actually with Hangry. I think he pretty much he does what he's told. So. Lucky's like I mean the leader in they do I mean Hangry and Penny pretty much do what Lucky command them to do so I mean yeah, I mean the fact if you remember back to the Hangry rap he said when he Rabbit kills said, on go, command and he also I'm killing on command and he also said he if when the rabbit says get him he goes straight through get him the wall. I go straight through the so wall so my theory is is if Lucky's chasing us and we go through a door and we shut it since Lucky can't break the walls. He's probably going to call over Hangley to go break the door down. What if we get chased by all three George members at the same time? That, that's a good question. because like, what Watch that do? shit. <laughs> Watch that shit happen. That's going to be a whole... No, and then Hangry using his damn speed boost... Hangry, lucky, excuse me. Lucky using his damn speed boost to catch up to us. And mm -hmm. then Hangry using his boot strength. And then Penny doing... A little fly, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, because we haven't, because we haven't really seen her ability. Yeah, we'll probably. Well, not get... yet because the SFM isn't. Done. Yeah, we'll probably get that within the next few days or so, because I mean... probably. But members are probably gonna get it first, so just so you know. Yeah. Hopefully, they don't reveal anything till it actually comes out. Um. Okay, but then we got the Joy Kill, which is the boss or whatever. But now the third level of this game. 
of this chapter, I should say, is Mama Bear and Trigger Teddy. Now, it wait, also... we didn't even talk. About, we didn't. We didn't talk about torment therapy yet. Yeah, we did. I I said. Oh, we didn't. I I said I was. I I just went through them because it's pretty self-explanatory. But with the Joy Joy game clones not really being a thing yet, you know. Oh, well, uh, I had a theory of how torment therapy was gonna start. All right, go. So my theory for oh. My theory for Torment Therapy, how I think it's going to start, because I, I've said this, I've explained this to a lot of people. Well, how I think it's going to happen is the Reaper nurses are probably going to do one of two things. Either appear in front of us, since they can go invisible, or they will roller skate toward us and say, wet and do their little greeting. And then once they say, and then once she said, I'll get back to you shortly, bye bye now, she'll roller skate off. That's why. That's why I think so. Honestly, that would be. And then the epic. level starts. That, that I mean, happens. why? I mean, I mean, I I think she would though, because it's just, it's just like. And by the way, speaking of torment therapy, I've had so many dreams about level. It's not even funny. Yeah, because like we're all trying to picture what that level's gonna be like, because we don't. You know, we don't no, know anything about it. I I, I gotta tell you the first. The first track that was released for Torment Therapy, which was Cold Hearted, the first time I heard that, I think it was that same night, I had a dream about that. I was like in a hospital or something like that. And every time someone opened up a door, which was like in a room or something like that, that music was playing. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah. I, I was like, uh, okay. And then, and then um, I also I had another one this a couple of nights ago, where uh, they're throwing a needle. They weren't throwing a needle at me. Where are they throwing? Where are they throwing a needle? I can't remember. No, well, I mean they throw <laughs> pills if that's what you're talking. I, I know, I know that, but I but also hear them roller skating away, and I'm like, God. No, and the other thing, other thing was I thought patient transfer was an escape theme. That's what I thought, too. I was like, okay, this sounds like an escape theme. There is no way in hell yeah, it's going to be people, anything else. Yeah, people were saying it was going to be a boss theme, and I'm over here like, I think True Colors is a boss. I just, I'm like, wow. I mean, I think that Healing Hospitality is going to be the uh, escape theme. I mean, well, actually, I had a theory about that. What if it's actually a chase theme? Oh my god, that and would that be is funny. a chase theme. You just watch, <laughs> just jamming out while you're being chased, and then I... two is the take your medicine. I swear, if that's a chase theme, and like one of the things that we thought was a chase theme is the escape theme, I'm gonna laugh. So hard. No, wait, 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 wait. War healing hospitality. Well, no, it wouldn't be a collecting. No, it wouldn't be a collecting shark theme because we got cold hearted for the for. For one of the zones, and then true colors for another one. Yeah, so that, that can't be one. I don't know. And no, but I have seen a lot of torment therapy. I've seen a couple torment therapy fan games. Yeah. The first one I saw was by the Frebby, which um, Zone Two is actually out now, but yeah. he actually had to go and fix stuff because. Um, yeah. Oh, and I'm gonna go ahead and read this statement from Glowstick Entertainment. Go ahead. Uh, in case anybody hasn't seen it or hasn't seen the statement yet, I'm going to read it. I want to read a statement that they had, had said uh, four days ago. DD fan game developers. Voice actor lines from DD are voiced by union voice actors from the Screen Actors Guild, or SAG. Their, vo their voices are not allowed to be used in unapproved games slash projects. We will have to we will have to remove any fan game using ripped voice audio from Dark Deception. If our game was non-union voice actors, this wouldn't be a this wouldn't be as big of a deal. But it is what it is. I will allow DD fan game devs a week or two to replace all DD voice audio. Deer, Smalik, Agatha Nurses, Joy Joy Gang, Mama Bear, etc. After that, DMCA. Or after that, DMCA takedown notices will be. Fine. So anybody that has a Dark Deception fan game and has used ripped audio files from the characters in there, you're gonna want to replace that. Yeah. The music, I don't really think is is a big problem. The, the nice, 
the nice thing that Glowstick is doing is, you know, Glowstick is actually giving you time. Like, for Joe Studio, they don't give you time. They don't give you warning at all. They just take it down with no explanation on why. You know, like, there was this fan game uh, called, I assume you know what it is, Fan Game Link for Skiing Downward Fall. And that game was taken down so many times with no notices at all. And I don't think I heard of Downward Fall. It's a really good game. Um, but anywho, let's continue on so we can try to get through this as quickly as possible. Yeah, go ahead. But so, yeah, that, that's how I think Torment Therapy is going to happen. 100%. Now, I did theorize that maybe an ambulance was going to be involved in the boss fight somehow. You know what would be cool, though? If, like, we the portal is, like, inside of the ambulance, and, like, we have to get out of the ambulance, that would be cool. <laughs> I would, oh, I would love that. Imagine that! Imagine that shit! You just <laughs> appear inside of a damn ambulance, and you just have to walk out! Holy shit, that'd be funny as fuck, dude! I would love that, dude. Anyhow, oh my god! Alright, so... Alright, um, moving on. The characters in the third level of this chapter is Mama Bear and the Trigger Teddy. Now, AKA here, Barely Buried. Yes, I will go over that in just a second here. Basically, I'm just going to give a small rundown on what I think Trigger Teddies are going to do. Basically, I think the Trigger Teddies are pretty much just going to climb on, like, the ceiling and stuff and, like, jump down from below. It just seems like something they would do. You're talking about some, like, some spider acting shit? Yeah, that, that, you can't What tell, the hell? You cannot tell me that it does not seem like that's what they're going to do. You, you can't tell me that. I don't think I have any comments for that. Like, honestly, that probably would be one of the creepiest and coolest things that they have ever done, if they do. I have no comments for that. Because here's the thing. I don't like spiders. In fact, uh, uh, like, a couple weeks, it was either last week or a couple weeks ago, I was checking out a customer. Because mm-hmm. I, I, I work at a dollar store. Yeah. Um, a customer, and there was a, I felt something crawling on me. I look, and it's a small spider, or it's a little, it's a, it's a, it's a, Spider probably a uh, a quarter size spider, craw- either a quarter or nickel size spider crawling on me, and I literally in the, in the midst of a panic, I chose a flight response. Right. Because here's the thing, for people that have arachnophobia and like you see a I spider did. on you, you have you see a spider either either near you or on you, you have two choices. If you're not in a, if you're not in a panic, you have two choices: fight or flight. But exactly. if you're in a panic and you ch- and, but if you're in a panic and you choose flight, I completely understand. Right. All right. And then anyway, we have the three level names. Actually, let's talk about this real quick. Now, as some people know, I don't know anybody on my channel that what? actually knows about Dark Deception, but we have Malik, which was confirmed by Vince himself that Malik is now getting beat. So anybody who thought he was hard. He's gonna get a lot harder. Who thought he? Who thought he was a pushover for the first three chapters? Oh, you, you better. Th- yeah, because he he did say Malik's taking off. The, the gloves are coming off. Oh yeah. So he, he's gonna get a lot stronger and probably a lot faster too. Gloves are coming off, bitch. Uh, and and then, Beerus is gonna be scolding us. So. And then the level names is the Narcissus level is Torment Therapy. The uh the. Joy Joy Gang level is Mascot Mayhem, and then we got Barely Buried as the Mama Bear and Trick and Teddy. Now, here's my question. Do you think Malik is going to take our powers before the 8th level begins? I think that if they're going to do anything with powers, that it's probably going to be one of those things where you don't get con- you don't get control over any power. Like, basically, the powers are going to just randomly switch over. Like, now here, now here's the thing, because a lot of people, it will. Smack and Pie said has said this a couple times, that Mal, that he says that he Malik is going to take our powers away from. Him. I've asked Vince that in a Q and A, I think a couple of times, and he has, or actually I asked him that one time, and either once or twice, I can't remember how much, how many times I asked him that, but uh, it, it it was said in a Q and A. That that is a old audio file, and he said that things change. That's so, why I think that's not gonna happen. Yeah. So if anything, if they're doing anything with powers, it has to be they're gonna be randomly switching, like at random points in time, 
Which one? I don't know what's going to happen. Honestly, I don't know because what's going to happen. They said that uh, Mama Bear and tr the Trigger Teddies aren't exactly the fastest characters in the game. So it would be interesting is that we have... Because he did say we need to use our powers wisely. So he's. I think he's trying to say that we need to be able to master our powers and we got to, like, we need to know how to use them correctly in a situation where we only have that power. If we only if have you that thought power, using, we have to use it wisely. If you thought using four, was it four powers we have? Yeah, we have four powers right now. And then there's, wait, how many are there in total? Seven? Uh, there's six. Yeah, because we have Hold two on. more powers. Speed left. boost, teleport, uh, telepathy, primal fear. Yeah, there, yeah, there's six. Yeah, six. I mean, yeah, I, was, I, was try, I, was trying to, I was trying to figure that out. For, who, who like, knows? oh wait, maybe they'll even add like more. Power. See, I see. I thought I had seven dollars earlier today, but I had and some change. <laughs> Just for some reason, because when I went and paid the, uh, when I went and got and paid our Wi-Fi bill, right. I thought I had like, because I, I got some cash out, and I thought I had seven dollars left. Uh huh. And I had six. Well, no, because my brother gave me a ten dollar bill, and then we went to McDonald's, and I thought I had seven dollars, but I had six. Right. So uh, that was a big whoopsie for me. Anyway, back on, uh, back on the topic. Yep. All right. And then let's see. Uh, let's go over here. Now it's time to talk about this teaser. Now. Well, hold on. I I did want to bring up one thing because someone asked about the. Q, uh, in, in a, in a Q&A, I think it was this previous one, he said, someone asked about how dark are the caves, or so, something something related to that, mm -hmm. and he and he said something under the lines of uh, they're dark, so just be aware of your surroundings. Yeah. It's the thing is, so... it's, it's one of those things that it's like, okay, well, if it's gonna be super dark, how are we gonna know when there's gonna be a trap? Because all we can see, I don't to think is... there's gonna be a flashlight. No, he he already said there's no flashlight. It's just you're in there. So and then... be careful. Uh, another thing, someone said uh, how from the nurses, and right. he said uh, run fast and pray for the best, right? Or hope for the best. Uh, uh, run really fast. So I mean, we gotta use our speed boost and probably teleport. But thanks for the tip. Oh, 100%. And now let's talk about the Joy, Joy Land The Lucky teaser. Plush. Now, this is obviously available. Well, not, it's not necessarily a teaser. It was just something in the back. Well, the it plush. seems like something that would be in there. Besides the carnival wheel or whatever, the circus wheel. Like, yeah. This is not See, I don't, I, don't, I don't think the carnival, I don't think the first wheel is supposed to be there because there already was one in Crazy Carnival. Now, let me so, ask you this. What do you think that for one of the final levels, it's kind of going to be a combination of all levels' environments? So it's like all these like different like kind of monuments. You talking about, you talking about the end of the one. game? Are what? you talking about the end of the game? Yeah, maybe one of the final levels or something. You like... know, someone, there was a video by, I think the YouTube, I think the channel is called A Random Tree. Uh -huh. And he guessed a level was going to be, or was going to have, well, all levels put together in one chaotic structure, like one massive level. Do you I think... was like, that's actually not a bad idea. Exactly. I mean, if they want this to go anywhere, I would do something like if that. If that really did happen, holy hell! Imagine the zone. Well, no, because he would no, because well, imagine the zones in that. Exactly. Holy hell. I honestly hope that the final level of the game, like the final, final level, actually has more than three zones, just to make it a lot... Well, more... to be fair, Vince did say there's not going to be a level that has more than three zones. Yeah. Which, so... I mean, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Now, the question yeah. is, like, what would... I, I just really want to know, like, what would the boss be in the mannequin level? Because it's in a mall, so, like, what is it going to be? I have... No, I, I know, I know. I mean, I, <laughs> maybe a security guard, a mall cop, maybe. I don't know. What do you? Think, maybe a mall cop. I don't know. Do you think that the vulture is going to return? Vulturin? I, I mean, Vince did say he might bring the vulturin back 
as a monster in Monsters and Mortals. So I mean I don't know who knows because yeah, there was he, supposed to be a prison there was supposed to be a prison level. Yeah, I don't know if that's, that's still a thing the anymore. Hospital is now. No, I don't think the hospital was even a prison level because it was a it was an asylum before and then it was changed to a hospital. Well, then it either is then it would have to be the Joy Joy Land level that was the prison because that's the only thing close I don't enough. Think, I don't think so. I don't. No, it has. Something that was probably that probably used to be a prison level has to be in Chapter Five somewhere. Yes, Chapter Five has more levels. True, it's supposed to have four levels since it has more levels. But that's... see, a lot of people think that Chapter Five is only going to have two levels because there's only two portals. Why is there two portals? I don't freaking know. But Chapter I... Five has more levels, I so have... why is there only two portals? I have a feeling that what's going to happen is when Chapter Four's build gets released. It's going to have extra portals. I here's my theory. We're gonna have one extra portal than we had before. But then, when we get to chapter five and we complete all those levels, then Mallet's door will end up opening, and that will be the final level of the entire game. For, well, here's the thing: if the door opens, I think there might be more portals. Oh yeah, that's what I think. Okay, um, I'll be right back, Chris. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, talk amongst yourself, and yeah, I'll, I'll be right back, guys. Good. I'll be back shortly. Good. Yeah, he, he's going to do something. Anywho, let's talk about this teaser real quick. So, basically, this is pretty much, like, updated kind of Joy Joy Land kind of thing, which is nice, I gotta say. Um, now let's go to Glowstick Entertainment. And now, we obviously have the Lucky Plush, you know, stuff like that. Monsters and Mortals, which is being released actually next Thursday, which is interesting. Uh, let's see, okay. Yeah, he already, uh, Wesley already read over that, so that's pretty fine. Um, okay. Actually, we could update about this. Now, I don't know what this is, like, I don't know what Coma 2 is, but it's here. Uh, this is part of the Monsters and Mortals. That's probably gonna be the new screen, if I had to take a guess. Uh, let's see, what else is important? And if you want, like, really good, like, theory videos, this is a person you should go to about this. Like, I'll probably, I'll, I'll put them in the, uh, description. Because Super Horror Bro is such a good theorizer on Dark Deception related content. Um... It's not really much to go off of here, because, you know, it's just a bunch of doodah. Uh, I mean, you know, a lot's going down, I guess. I mean, we're getting real, real close to uh, Chapter 4, which we'll be releasing either next month or early December. Uh, we don't know when, but we'll find out eventually. Um, so let's see, let's see, I want to see what the, uh, the lucky plushie looks like. So you can kind of, here's the lucky plush, check out like what he actually looks like. This is just the prototype, so it's not a final plush, but, uh, yeah, you can see he's pretty cool. So as you can see, you know, this is going to be... He's 20 centimeters. So here's a quick video of what the plushie... Okay. So I believe, if I'm correct, this is going to cost... Yep, twenty four ninety nine. You have 20 days and 23 hours left in order to get it. So I will end up getting this eventually. I don't know when. But I will be pre-ordering. Look at how cool it looks. You know, it, it does look really nice, and you know, we have that. Um, you know, what we could actually do is since we're already, you know, doing theorizing and stuff, what we could do is actually we could go to YouTube and we can look at the Little Nightmares 2 trailer that was just released. Now, I've already seen it, but just in case, 
we can just go over it real quick and talk about it. Just so you know, everybody's on the same page. Uh, I gotta find it first. I I forget who the developers are. Uh, it's Bandai Namco, so I gotta go look. I'll find them. Hold on. I subscribe to a lot of people. Okay, we back. Cool. We're about to look over the Little Nightmares 2 trailer that was dropped today. Oh, I haven't seen it, so... Great. You'll be in for a treat. Hold on, let me turn on audio so you can see it. Okay. Or I'm not is, really that far down the line. Is audio on for you? Like, for... Uh, hold on, I'm going to play something. You tell me if you can hear it. <laughs> because I don't know if audio is on or not. So let me just find a random video. Here we go. Okay. They found yeah. love. Uh, after lock up. Now no, they're not committed. Really. Okay. It, it's okay. No, because it's not as fun unless you actually feel it. So, we're going to go over here. No, I don't want to hide. <laughs> okay, I think I'll go here. And then. Also, okay, that should do it. Alright, now tell me if you hear anything. For life. What are you hearing? Seriously? I now nope. pronounce you husband. No. no. Uh, I will figure this out because we, we gotta do this. Oh, wait. Do I. Hold on. I'll probably do this. Stop streaming. Stream quality. Change windows. No. <laughs> Option. This is fun. Okay, I only have that connected to Taylor. I honestly don't know. So I guess we'll just watch it and See what happens. I guess we just have to assume what's going on, because I can't figure it out right now, and I kind of just. Oh, hold on. I'll 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 look it up on my phone. All right. We can just watch it like this. Uh, uh, the Little Nightmares Two trailer. Yep, it just got released today, so. All right. Let me let's let's let's, let's watch this shit. All right. Just give me give me a second. Bandai Namco. Wait, wasn't Vince? Didn't Vince sign on with Bandai Namco at one point in like 2014? I don't know. I would I would be interested. He to see talked some about that in the devlog. All right, let's do this. All right. At least I remember him talking about that in the devlog that he signed on for it. Uh, like we have a lot to talk about. So, what was that? So apparently that's the doctor. So we have the doctor, the teacher, and the hunter. Hello. I... Oh my god. Hello? Hello? I think we lost him, poor favor. What we lost? Can you hear me? Oh. I actually... Oh, we lost. Oh. I accidentally muted myself. Okay, what the fuck did I just witness? Uh, well, we have the doctor, we have the teacher. Now... Here's the thing, there was that big fat guy, and I'm like, holy sh... That, now, here's the thing. That, my good friend, is the doctor. Now, here's the thing, I feel like Night Little Nightmares and Dark Deception should do a crossover. Oh, 100%. I would be very interested <laughs> to maybe see the... I mean, show. I've never played Little Nightmares... Wait, can you, can you get Little Nightmares on PC? Yes, if so, I'll, I'll, I'll play it. I'll play it. You, ha you can get it on PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch. Is it on Steam? Yep. Hold on. And it also Hang has a DLC to it, too. Really? Yeah. Because I know Vince was playing it. Oh, yeah. It, it, it's such a... It's a good game. Oh, it's $20. Okay. Yeah. But if you get the DLC, it's going to be a little bit more because DLC cost. Good night. But, yeah, I'm probably going to... I wonder a... if Vance had any inspiration from Little Nightmare. He could have, honestly. Why not put it back in? No, but... It looks really good. 
Yeah. I've never played Little Nightmares before, but holy hell. Yeah, this is this is the sequel, keep in mind. The, the first one is like, it's scary. Yeah, I see this, that shit. Not, it's what? It's scary. Like, Little Nightmares 1 is scary, but not to this extent. Right. Like, this is a lot more scary and a lot more terrifying. Like Jeez. it, it, it looks, it looks pretty good so far. Yeah, it really does. And I'm excited to see where. I'm probably goes. gonna have to play through the first one to understand well, some context. It's actually been uh, confirmed that you don't need to play the first one to play the second one and understand. You'll understand. No, but I didn't know. I feel like I should. Just yeah, I mean, understand what's will, going on. He even said it will help to understand, but it's not necessary because you're just figured out as you go. Like the I, I'd rather I'd rather understand than to be confused as to what's happening. Exactly. I mean that does make quite a bit of sense. Not gonna lie. But anywho, guys, we're gonna end the video here. But may, may, got... may, maybe I'll get it. Maybe I'll get it. Maybe I'll get little nightmares and stuff and oh, yeah. try it out. You, you definitely should. Anywho, guys, I'm gonna end the video here because I have to get this uploaded and out tonight. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>